Hi everyone, my name is Matthias. In this video I will teach you how to play Camilla Cabello Shilas Control. This is a great finger picking song. We will learn everything about this. So at first we will learn how to play with a capo, because we need a capo on the second fret if you don't want to play that much bar chords. After we will learn the chords and the song without the capo. After we will learn the solo as well. And the second part of this video will be the playthrough part. So if you learn the song you can practice with me. If you are new to our channel, click here to subscribe and also let me know what other song we'd like to learn from Camila's new album. Now let's talk about the chords. So capo on the second fret, don't forget that. And the first chord for this song is an A minor chord. A open string, second fret on the D and the G string, first fret on the B string. The second chord is an E minor chord. Low E string will be open, 2nd fret on the A and the D string, and uh, G and B string will be open as well. The 3rd chord will be an F major chord, this is a bar chord. The 1st finger gonna do the bar, and 3rd fret on the A and the D string, 2nd fret on the G string. If this bar chord is hard for you, you can use, instead of the original bar chord, you can play a small bar. 3rd fret on the D string, 2nd fret on the G string, and 1st fret on the B and the high E string. So you can use this F chord uh, as well. Okay, for the intro, the verse and the chorus, you just have to know these three chords. Now let's talk about the plucking pattern. So you have to pluck the open A string after the other notes from the chord two times. So... The second chord is E minor chord, you have to do the same, so the thumb, with your thumb you have to pluck the bass, the E bass, and after um, the D, G and the B string, the third chord is an F major chord, the thumb gonna pluck the bass, the F bass, and with the index middle and the ring finger, you have to pluck the D, G and the B string. After that, you have to go back to the A minor chord. So A open string and index middle ring finger are gonna pluck the G, D, G and the B string all together. So the verse, the chorus goes like this. Let's play one more time, slower. In the last line of every chorus, there is a great bass line. It goes like this. It's You have to play it uh, in, in the fourth bar. So when you arrive back to the A minor chord, you have to play only once uh, the plucking pattern after the bass line. So 3rd fret on the A string is the first note, 2nd fret on the D string is the second one, and D open string will be the third one. So in the 4th bar of the last line, the chorus, uh, it sounds like this. Okay, the next part, the next new part in this song will be the bridge. For the bridge we have to use an F major chord, we talked about that. A G major chord, 3rd fret on the low E string, 2nd fret on the A string, and D, G, B string will be open. The 3rd chord in the bridge will be an E major 7 chord. Low E string will be open, 2nd fret on the A and the D string, 1st fret on the G string and 3rd fret on the B string. The plucking pattern gonna be the same. Let's 
Let's play one more time slower. Okay, this was the whole song. Now let's talk about the chord without the capo. So the first chord will be a B minor chord. First finger gonna do the bar on the second fret and fourth fret on the D G string and third fret on the B string. The second chord gonna be an F sharp minor chord. The first finger gonna do the bar on the second fret and fourth fret on the D fourth fret on the A and the D string. Third chord gonna be a G major chord. Third fret on the low E string, second fret on the A string, and D, G, B string will be open. So the plucking pattern for the verse and the chorus goes like this. The bass line what we have in the chorus goes like this. So D open string after 4th fret on the D string and 2nd fret on the D string. Okay, in the bridge we're gonna have three more chords. The first one will be a G major chord, we talked about that. The second chord gonna be an A major chord, A open string and second fret on the D, G and the B string. After G major again, an F sharp seven gonna be the last chord in the bridge. So first finger gonna do the bar on the second fret and fourth fret on the A string, third fret on the G string. So the bridge without the capo goes like this. Let's play one more time slower. So we have only one more thing to learn about this song and um, this part is the solo part. This is the end of the song. It goes like this. You can download the tab from my Patreon page. Uh, you will find the link in the description. And for the solo, uh, you don't need a capo. The first note will be the seventh fret on the high E string. You have to hammer on the ninth fret with your third finger after with your pinky the tenth fret. The next note is the seventh fret on the first string again and the ninth fret on the same string. After the 10th fret on the B, 7th fret on the 1st string and 7th fret on the 2nd string. So the first bar goes like this. One more time. In the second bar, you have to repeat almost the whole first bar. So. 10th fret on the 1st string, after 7th fret, after 9th fret, so... After you have to continue with the 10th fret on the B string, 7th fret on the 1st string, 7th fret on the B string, and 10th fret on the B string, and you have to slide up to the 12th fret. So the second bar goes like this.
The whole solo goes like this. The next part of this video will be the playthrough part, so let's try to practice with me this song. I hope you found this video useful, if you have any questions just leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video give it a like, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching, see you in the next video.